Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today is Monday, the 17th of May, and uh, a bunch of the new Clone Wars Target Wave figures have been showing up in Targets. I know a bunch of people, uh, I personally now have been finding them as well, so definitely go and check Target here in uh, sometime today, I'm not sure when, but uh, we also have to get a news video out today, so I will film that in just a second, but first we actually have several packages to open, so let's open uh, one of those real quick. First up is the box from GameStop. So let's get this package open. That was good enough of a cut. Oh, there. <laughs> All those guys just fell over. Not a big deal. They do that a lot. I just normally cut it out. But, you know, you can't do that right now. But... Ooh, okay. Deluxe Cal Kestis. Let's get this box out of the way. We got Deluxe Cal Kestis from the new Gaming Greats line. Looking super, super nice. Cannot wait to get this guy out of the box. I'm loving that dual bladed lightsaber up there. Yeah, cannot wait to get that out of the box. I'm liking the new uh, Gaming Greats packaging there. So that's one, uh, probably the one that most of you guys care about. Next up. And then the second box is from Amazon. So this is actually a, a figure I found on sale. It's not Star Wars. Jeez. Okay, now everything is just falling over. <laughs> uh, basically, it was off camera, but my uh, box here for the Elite Squad Trooper just took a tumble. <laughs> like I was saying, though, this uh, is not a figure that I was planning on getting or anything. I just found it on sale on Amazon. It is actually a Fortnite figure, so don't click away. I know, uh, but you know, I've I used to play Fortnite quite a bit. I still enjoy it every once in a while. But this is one of those figures and or characters, I guess, skins or whatever. When it was first released, it was the coolest thing ever. Everybody wanted it, and I actually saw its figure ver uh, like form or version or whatever on sale, and I had to get it. So yeah, let's get her open. It is jeez, everything is literally falling over today. It's not a big deal. I'm feeling all right. It is actually the Galaxy skin, though. Looking actually pretty nice. It does use, like, translucent uh, plastic. I'm having such bad luck with my figures right now. F in the chat for everything that just fell over. But, uh, yeah, we got uh, the Galaxy skin. It uses, like, translucent uh, plastic. Looking really nice. has the drum gun, which is really cool. But, yeah, it was on sale. I figured that... Uh, you know, it's a really cool looking skin too, and I figured, you know, I, I might as well try it out. So, oh uh, yeah, I don't know when I'll do a review of this, if I'm even going to. Probably won't, but you know, I never, you never know, I might get to it eventually. And then we also got, uh, the Archive Trooper from last week's vlog. We actually got a target yesterday. So I'll open this on camera right now. We're actually going to open all three of these guys on camera right now. So I'll do Fortnite last, because you guys probably care the least about him. So, uh, yeah, let's get all these guys out of the box real quick. Let's just get Cal right out of the box right now. Start with the tape. Again, I'm gonna say this every time I open a figure. People like get mad at me for opening it from the top, but I'm gonna open it from the top every time. I think it's just better that way. And uh, yeah, gotta say, I'm digging like the, the yellow jumpsuit or orange poncho, whatever you wanna call it. It is looking pretty nice. Looking nice. I'm also liking, of course, the dual bladed lightsaber. Oof, that is really nice. I like that quite a bit. I have the normal lightsaber, and then we have all the accessories, which I'll also get out here in a second. So we got Cal out, and um, I gotta say, there's a few things on here that uh, I could care less about, but a few things that like they kind of knocked it out of the park. One thing I really, really like. The, uh, both the blades can be swapped. So if you have the old Cal Kestis saber, you can take the blue one from that, and then uh, you have two of these blue ones basically from the two lightsabers. You can swap them out and have a blue double lightsaber instead of the green. That's something I really like they did instead of giving them like two different lightsabers because I know some of them can't be swapped, and I'm glad they made these swappable. And then you could have like a green single-hilted one if you wanted to as well, which is super cool. I'm glad they decided to do that. Uh, you know, I could care less about this. I mean, I think it looks cool. I just don't know really what to do with it. Except, you know, just there. Holocron, super cool accessory. It looks nice, but he can't hold on to it. Like, he has to, like, kind of do that, and it just looks weird. I think at the right angle it looks fine, but it, it looks weird overall. The hood, I think, kind of looks stupid. 
But, uh, you know, those are some of the extra accessories. I just, I didn't really buy for the accessories. I bought it for the figure. One thing I do like, though, is BD-1, they actually added a little slot there on his back to put BD-1's foot into so he can actually stand on his shoulder, which the last cowl did not have. So this is so much better. That is just an amazing upgrade. I'm so glad they decided to do that. So honestly, this guy is already beating the old cowl by so much. I'm definitely digging it. I think I'm going to switch it out though. Sorry, that just went flying. Switch out the uh, blue lightsaber hilts and uh, or the blue lightsaber blades. I think that'd be super cool on the double one. And uh, yeah, honestly, I'm super hyped for this guy. Let's get the uh, Death Trooper out now. You know what? I'm actually going to save the Death Trooper for later in the vlog. I probably will do it this week. I'll just save it later in the vlog. Let's get the uh, Galaxy skin open. And I know you, a lot of you guys probably don't care about this. So you can always skip ahead in the video if you don't want to watch. But uh, yeah, I'm super hyped about this guy. I've been wanting him for a little bit, and I saw him go on sale. So I figured, why not? I don't know how to open this. I don't like this packaging at all. It's weirdly shaped, and I don't know how to open it. But, you know, I'll figure it out. I'm pretty sure I have uh, another, like, Omega review or something out on the channel already. If you guys want to check that out. But that was also one of my, like, first videos. So it's not the best quality, of course, as any YouTuber. But, jeez, I feel like I'm going to absolutely rip the crap out of this packaging. Yep, I've already ripped it. So, so long for that. Jeez, okay. And I'm not going to bother getting all the accessories out. I'll just uh, cut to that because it's going to take a while. So I'll just cut to it all already up. Anyway, we do have the Galaxy skin out of the, the package. And he is pretty cool, got to say. I am actually impressed. I have the uh, Omega version of... Uh, I don't know what brand sells these. But I do have the Omega version. I wasn't a big fan of that figure. It was pretty poor in my opinion. But uh, this guy's actually really nice. So uh, yeah, definitely... Kind of want to get a few more of these figures if I can get them on sale, but most of them are older now and kind of expensive, so probably won't. I'm mainly, of course, Black Series, so I'm going to stick to that. But uh, yeah, honestly, this guy's pretty cool. I'm impressed with it, and of course, he has that sick, like, galaxy-style effect to him, so yeah, pretty impressed with him. Hey guys, today is now Tuesday, and we actually did go to Target last night, but unfortunately didn't have anything at all, anything new. I I asked the employee to, and they didn't have anything, so I didn't even bother vlogging it. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, but uh, today is now Wednesday, and I did not check today, and I don't think I will. Uh, I'll probably go back again uh, tomorrow. Did I say it's Wednesday? It's Tuesday. I don't know why I said it's Wednesday. It's definitely Tuesday today. <laughs> Sorry about that, but yeah, I will probably end up going back uh, and checking again tomorrow. See if they have it or not, and uh, hopefully they do. But anyway, uh, Skywalker Hendricks, link in the description. This guy's amazing. He actually picked up a uh, Arc Trooper Echo for me. So uh, yeah, shout out to him. Go sub to his channel. He's amazing, and uh, yeah, thanks so much for getting that for me, man. And uh, even better, today we actually hit 2,000 subscribers, which is amazing. So, uh, yeah, uh, I am going to probably make a uh, 2,000 sub video, just, you know, thanking everybody and, uh, you know, just addressing it. And uh, then that means Luke Ness Monster will probably, or Ask Luke Ness Monster will probably be pushed back until tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, I'm super hyped and uh, can't wait to get to 25 now. We're so close. So, so we got that video filmed, and honestly, Right now, I'm just going to go and try to clean up my set. I have a huge mess here with, you know, uh, boxes like this. I'm going to try to find uh, somewhere to, like, hang this up on the wall, some of those boxes. You know, get them out of the way, and it'll look nice to display like that. And plus, I have just tons of figures I might put back in boxes. Um, I know I have a bunch up there, some on the sides over here. And then also over here, like, I just have a bunch laying down that I haven't been able to put back up yet. And then um, I also need to get... Uh, probably that cow down uh what's where is he uh the <laughs> purge trooper and then the second sister down as well to do uh some stuff with the new fallen order cow probably do a comparison and a review sometime so pretty hyped about that but i do have to get some of that stuff down so a little bit of reorganizing and stuff to do real quick Hey guys, today is now Wednesday, and we actually just did check Target. Unfortunately, I didn't have anything out on the shelves yet, but I did talk to an employee, and they said they'd be getting a shipment in tomorrow, so I'm definitely going to have to run in tomorrow and check. And yeah, I'm pretty hyped about that. Anyway, I do have Ask Luke Ness Monster upload today, so I got to get all of this cleaned up. I'm going to find the wall to like, start actually pinning these onto. And uh, yeah, so get these out of the way. I'll pin those up later, but first we do have to get Ask Luke Ness Monster filmed. So I was going to do Ask Luke Ness Monster today, but one, it's pretty late now. It's like almost 9 o'clock, and I still haven't filmed it. 
But uh, two, there's also a ton of news to go over as well. So I might do a news video today and just push Ask Lugnus Monster back until tomorrow. So. Anyway, we did get the video filmed, and I think now we're going to open the Death Trooper. So yeah, let's just get this guy cut open. So like I said, there is, of course, a way to get these uh, bubble figures open without actually totally ruining it. What I do is I just run a knife along the very edge of uh, the bubble, like this. Get it, like, down in there. It might be a little bit hard because, of course, the plastic on the inside might be getting in the way. But if you just cut along it, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And then, uh, yeah, you can just go all the way down. The down one's always the easiest. And then uh, you're probably going to have to go along uh, this side right here just a little bit. But once you get it quite a bit, you can get it out. And, of course, the bubble is still intact. So always like to do that. And uh, yeah, now he's got to pull him out. Gotta say, this is my first Death Trooper, which is really nice. I did not pick up the original one. I do have the original Shore Trooper, but uh, yeah, never picked up a Death Trooper. I definitely want to try to get the uh, Death Trooper, like, Commander or whatever. The one with the pauldron. I think that'd be pretty cool to get now. But uh, yeah, this guy is pretty cool. I do love the uh, Death Trooper Blaster, too. Looking really, really nice. Uh, yeah, so... Of course, you can always put the bubble back in. That's probably what I will do. But, uh, yeah, Death Trooper. And, uh, yeah, this guy's looking really, really nice. I would have preferred maybe some uh, greener, like, uh, eyes there. But other than that, it's pretty pretty cool. I gotta say, I do really like it. I love the weapon there. And, uh, yeah, first experience with the Death Trooper is pretty nice. So I did just pin these on the wall outside of my closet where I film. And yeah, they're looking pretty nice. I decided not to put the archive up, but I did put my Empire Strikes Back figures, the Mandalorian credit collection, of course, the uh, Episode 1, and then the October 3 pack. Looking pretty nice. And then um, uh, opening this up, we do uh, actually still have the Carbonized Mando and that. We still have to find place for. I want to put Carbonized Mando on this top row up here. Sorry if the light is like making it hard for it to focus. But then, of course, I did leave the archive wave up there. Hey, guys, it is now uh, Thursday, actually, and I'm going to go check uh, Target for the Clone Wars figures. The employee said they'd have them today, so I'm hoping they will. So we were just in Target, and unfortunately, they didn't have it, which uh, just kind of sucks. I talked to the employee yesterday. They said they should have them in today, and they don't. I talked to another employee today. They said that the truck was supposed to be in yesterday, but... Uh, they don't have them yet which is kind of unfortunate she said that they would be in any day which is great i guess but doesn't give me a specific date to come in which does kind of suck so i'm definitely going to check tomorrow saturday and sunday hopefully they come in but uh who knows hey guys it is now friday and like i said we did not have any luck at target yesterday so i got home and i was going to do ask lugnet's monster yesterday but uh it was really late by the time i got home so i just did a different video i did like uh Basically, there's a video on why I think they'll make a deluxe Cody, so I'll pin down the card right now if you want to check it out. Great video, and yeah, it was a lot of fun to make. But uh, yeah, today's now Friday, and we do have a package open, so let's get this guy so open. So this box is from a good friend of mine, Skywalker Hendricks on YouTube. Go down, sub to his channel, because he's amazing, and he actually found an extra Echo for me, so he hit me up. And yeah, we did get an Echo secured, which is amazing, so we are going to get this open real quick. But uh, yeah, definitely go sub to Skywalker Hendricks, he's amazing. And uh, yeah, so let's get this open up real quick. I'm trying not to like destroy the box here on both sides. Okay. Ah, oh, there it is. And uh, there's actually more in the box. There is. We have three and three quarter inch Echo. That's awesome from the Clone Wars line. Never had this figure. This is sick. Dude, thanks, man. That's awesome. And then we also got a uh, little letter here as well. So, dude, thanks so much, Skywalker. It means a lot to me. Definitely hit me up if there's anything uh, you need from me. And, uh, yeah, thanks, man. Um, his arm just broke off. That's my bad. I feel really bad now. Okay, in my defense, I literally just did this to bend his arm and it snapped off. 
But now I feel really bad because he sent that to me. Now, yeah, I just feel like an awful person. But anyway, like I said, I was going to do Ask Lugnus Monster today since I push it back another day. But I'm actually going to push it back one more day till tomorrow because I want to do my Echo review today because that'll be super cool. And plus, Echo is awesome and I really want to try to get this guy open. But, you know, this is a weird packaging and I kind of got to get the intro to the review done before I open it. So I'm just going to do the whole review today. Okay, so we got Echo reviewed and now we're going to go check Target for the rest of the wave. Smells like cotton candy. Welcome back to the vlog. Today is now Saturday, and uh, we actually did get our 501st display set up here. We do actually have Echo with his Citadel shield. That is a custom one that I just made uh, yesterday, actually. I didn't vlog it because I didn't know exactly what I was doing. But uh, yeah, Target didn't have anything yesterday, so I didn't really vlog it either. Just kind of suck, but um, yeah, it's all right. We do have Echo there looking super nice. And yeah, I did make that shield. I actually made it out of skewers hot glue and then uh like a folder divider or whatever i just cut it out of so yeah pretty hyped about that i might make a video dedicated just to the shield but um yeah i do have to get ask lugness monster film today finally it's supposed to come out tuesday and it's now saturday so do you get that out real quick and uh yeah So we just got back from Target this morning, it is Sunday morning, and uh, yeah, the official release date of the Clone Wars, so I did manage to get another Echo and Obi-Wan, and uh, yeah, this is actually going to be a giveaway, because uh, you know, they had him, and I figured we don't have a giveaway for 5k yet, so this will be the 5k giveaway, which is amazing, so super hyped for that. So, you know, he's just going to stay somewhere where the bubble isn't going to get damaged or anything. We still have Cody at 2.5, but uh, yeah, super hyped about Obi-Wan. We're going to get him uh, cut open and reviewed, and then I'll probably rev uh, probably do the review today and then still release the vlog today as well, just do two videos today. And uh, here is my new uh, display looking very nice. We got, of course, Ahsoka in the front with Echo and Rex. Obi-Wan in the middle with Cody, and then we just have a stray 332nd in the back. They're looking super nice, I do have to say. I'm super happy about this. Cannot wait to get Detolfs, because that'd make this look a whole lot better. But, you know, for right now, it's all I got, and it's looking pretty nice. I do like Ahsoka's pose there at the front. It's looking, looking really cool.